20 years ago, our niche was co-ops and Whole Foods and small uh, natural food stores and uh, everybody else was dabbling in natural foods. Uh, that has changed as you've heard from other speakers. Uh, in 2006, Walmart announced it would double sales of organics and by 2007 it was already selling more organics than any other retailer in the country. In one year, it became the largest seller of organics. About, uh, you saw the, the uh, information that Dave uh, gave us about uh, the percentage of conventionals that are now selling uh, th uh, their market share in, in natural and organic, about 43%. But 60% of consumers are buying their natural foods in uh, conventional, through conventional channels now. Kroger, as Dave pointed out, uh, sells more natural and organic than whole foods. More natural and organic than whole foods at Kroger's. And already sells a billion dollars in its private natural and organic labels. Uh, the conventional area is moving into another niche of ours, which is fresh food, as was already pointed out. And Hartman identified fresh as uh, the dominant trend uh, in natural and organic. Well, uh, guess who's in fresh now? 7-Eleven. Uh, sales of fresh product are up over 30 percent the past year. Their fresh food contains ingredients like quinoa and whole grain breads and fresh pressed juices. Um, we may think that 7-Eleven isn't a, uh, a, a competitor, but uh, a lot of people are, are moving through those stores and they could be shoppers at our, at our stores. 7-Eleven now sells seven times more bananas than they sell uh, Snickers. Uh, Walmart sold $400 million of local, locally grown produce and they promised that 9% of their U.S. fruit and veggies would be local this year. 9%. Um, just some uh, ways that uh, com consumers have, have changed over the past several years. Michael Pollan recently wrote in the New Yorker that 19% of all meals are eaten in cars. You know, consumers are changing. They're increasingly shopping online for food. Right now, 1% of food is sold online, but there are categories like baby food and baby care products and even cereal where 20% of sales are being sold online and in five years that number could be 50%. Are you selling anything online? Are you? We're, we're not and so that's another place they don't even have to come into your store. They can have it delivered uh, online. And snacking is another area. I, um, uh, Fifty percent of meal occasions are now consumed as snacks. Uh, 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 Tim Bartlett from Lexington Co-op uh, talked about Wegmans. Wegmans has done, uh, ha has taken information directly from Hartman, the Hartman Group, which NCG, Hanover Co-op, and PCC uh, combined with to, to uh, in 2002 to get this information about the mid-level and the core shoppers. We funded those studies. Uh, our competition is reading those studies as well. And uh, they've made big pushes to make sure that, they're, uh, that they are providing for their consumers the kinds of things that they want when they want it and how they want it. So that 
you know, if people are, are fifty percent of meals are now snacks, and I'm not advocating uh, this, by the way, I'm just presenting information about how people are behaving, but if fifty percent of your customers are eating snack meals, are you prepared with the kinds of food that they can come in, grab and go, and and uh, and live the kind of lifestyle that they are living, not the kind of lifestyle that we wish that they would live. That's my bad news from the conventional uh, grocery <laughs> area.